All right, so some of you guys were asking how to take apart a dowel button. I have a hat button. The construction's nearly the same. There's probably a couple differences. I haven't taken apart a dowel button in a while, so excuse me if I'm being inaccurate here. But the basic steps are the same. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to remove your lamp and switch holder. Probably a little bit more smooth than that on a dowel. Uh, you're gonna depress these part. You're gonna depress the button and push these in towards themselves so that they clear the uh, catch. So like this, and it probably helps to kind of work the button. Uh, I said before, maybe reseat the switch. I mean, I don't think it's likely to do something on its own, but I don't know, maybe it kind of messed itself up and kind of got like this or something, you know, then you just put it in here. Likely though, if it's binding, it's because it's dirty. That's been my experience. So, um, as you can see, this button really needs a cleaning. This came from an actual arcade on location. So you'd want to, you know, clean this alcohol or, you know, soap and water, whatever it takes. Just be sure to rinse it pretty well. You don't want residue that's going to gum up and attract, you know, dust and grime later. Separating this, um, I think this might be a little bit different on a, on a dowel, but, you know, it's pretty basic. You're just going to want to work a flat head in there. See, it's starting to come apart. There we are. You probably don't have to worry about that diffuser, um, but you're probably going to, want to you're going to want to clean this probably, probably the outer rim, probably anything on here. Of course, anything down here. Um, one other thing is that I recall my dowel buttons had a couple like plastic protrusions like around here. They weren't very smooth, so I had a smooth file. You could probably use an emery board or a nail file, you know, something really low duty like that go over it a few times and you know smooth it down to where the surface is smooth you could probably approximate it with like a sharp you know knife box cutter or something um, in any case once you're done just follow the steps in reverse the diffuser kind of slots in here on the hat I believe the Dow is similar um, I think the Dow actually had this weird like uh, tooth part that kind of went between these two parts to keep the dome from rotating I guess that means the half domes freely rotate. I've never heard anyone complain about that, come to think of it. Just kind of, you know, snap it back together. Check and make sure it's, you know, on level, it's transparent, take advantage. Does this rotate? Huh. So be it. In any case, here's your switch, or spring, excuse me. Putting it back together is, uh, it's a little tricky seeming if you're kind of not using your head. It really speaks for itself though. Uh, you can't squeeze this with the spring in the way very well. So I like to kind of, while I'm pinching it, work the spring back down about halfway. This should be fine. You're gonna wanna go through, not where these uh, protrusions are for the lamp holder, like that. Uh, check your spring, I guess. Maybe a coil, oh, that's the other thing. I guess a coil could have jumped and gone past these uh, protrusions here, so make sure that it's being held back by them, the uh, spring vase or whatever you'd want to call this. Put your lamp holder back. You know, it's probably going to be within your controller, of course, and uh, I mean, that's really all there is to it. Hopefully you guys got it. Good luck.